All right, click the links, join the channel, become a member, check out the various other links. So here's the weird, th first of all, let me say it was Star Wars uh, and the Disney Plus streaming shows. Star Wars is over, um, and I'm not saying that just as part of the culture war type of thing. Uh, I think from the left or the right, young or old, the energy is out of Star Wars because it doesn't resonate with people on a subconscious level, as I will try to carefully explain um, and stay within the, the YouTube algorithms for hot words why it doesn't it, why it doesn't resonate with people why there it's like the disney trilogy that came out or rogue one included um and then the streaming stuff that's coming out and then whatever is coming out in the future is going to be more of the same it will not resonate with people on a subconscious level because the motivations and the tribalism that is perhaps not politically correct to speak of but it's also very true compare the original 77 star wars the people, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi's Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and um, uh, uh, the, the girl, I forget her name, um, Princess Leia. There's like, a, there's a motivation, that a connection between watching tribalism on screen and the viewer can connect with it. People, people working together to fight for something that makes sense to them where it connects on a conscious and subconscious level because they all look like they're roughly from the same part of the world. They all have similar cultural values and ways of doing things. They have enough in common, though. I mean, as actors, they're from, you know, different areas um, uh, of the world. But visually, they represent something that, like, would make sense. Like, these people could come together to form a tribe that would be functional. That connects with people, and that's, like, nowadays, that's very, very politically incorrect to say, but it's also absolutely true and, and it, it connects with people deeply. That's why, that's why that original Disney tr trilogy, you know, Gen X people and older, it's like it meant something to them. They remember it in a way that the Disney modern trilogy has, has zero hope of accomplishing. And anything coming out of the Disney streaming stuff, there, there's, nothing, there's nothing that will connect with people. Because it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense because of the tribal aspect of it. To see, like, people, it, they did the same things in Rings of Power. It's this mixed group of people who say they're fighting for their way of life. And they did similar things in the Disney Star Wars. And you look at them and you're like, so, like, which different people have are, are not fungible. They have interests adverse to each other. What way of life are you fighting for? None of that. The character motivations don't make sense. You can't just replace actors. Actors are representing these characters. They have to be, they have, like, the, the Afro-Hobbit, the Afro-Elf type of stuff. None of that, obviously none of that. On the surface level, none of that makes sense. But on a deeper level, you watch this and you know it's wrong. You know it's not connecting with you. Just because Hollywood has said, oh, it's politically incorrect to say it's wrong. I'm not, I don't mean freedom of association. I mean from a story standpoint of character driven. It's like you know it's not in accord with history. That's not what people do not come together to sacrifice for something that isn't them, isn't of their tribe or their extended family. It, it, like you might even be politically correct and, and be on board with this, but it's still not resonating with you on a subconscious level because you know human behavior. It's like this doesn't, none of this makes sense. Like the past 10 million years of human evolution, it, the character motivation doesn't make sense to see that kind of thing on screen. So when I say Disney Star Wars is over, I absolutely mean it. It's in the sense that, yes, you'll have Disney streaming shows, which are relatively lower budget compared to compared to you know what was coming out before on on the big screen but you're not going to have toy sales and t-shirts it's just not going to it's not going to have the same cultural impact it did because on one side as this girl does this interview oh well let me, what happened was she's in some star wars show that's coming out you're not going to see it and very few people are going to see it and she's talking about she's talking about the characters in the show not the not the fellow actors uh who are her fellow soldiers she's female and i guess the soldiers are male the empire emperor soldiers and they're um they're you know incompetent so they're they do this thing where men you know especially this kind of the blonde man trope where um you know the nordic stereotype they're malicious cruel evil geniuses but also incompetent stupid it's like it's all mixed up at one you go oh they're these these super geniuses are able to accomplish all this but they're also stupid and incompetent and make make petty mistakes like you get to pick a battle here that doesn't with you that doesn't obviously it doesn't make sense the original star wars you looked at the empire uh, i forget that that great actor who passed away who they they digitally put him in rogue one who, who played the role so you looked at that british accent of the empire it's like they look like they knew what they were doing they were an enemy to be feared because they all work together there's strength in unity like it made sense like you want to say they're the bad guys okay fine but 
I mean, the different other perspectives look at the Empire and Vader, and you're like, yeah, what if they were the good guys? Like, what about what if they were the good guys? They were fighting. Like now, as an adult, I look back and I go, oh yeah, absolutely, Vader and the Empire, yeah, totally, they're the good guys. So she's using this word that she doesn't know the definition of, and it's it's there's way too many people nowadays who everything they know about this word. It's, it means a collection of, of sticks tightly bound together. If you look at the back of a dime, that's, that's what it is. It's not a pejorative. It's not a good or bad word, even any more to be fair than communism is. It's, a, it's just a word that describes a system. How, how you carry it out um, <laughs> might be better or worse. But like everything a lot of people seem to know about these political systems comes from Hollywood, which is, is, is fiction. It's, it's, it's coming from the worst people on earth who are making movies. I mean, these are like this... this just the scum, this you know, Epstein Weinstein types of people. They're the worst people on earth, and they tell you, you know, everything you know about the South. You learned, you learned from Generation X, learned from seventies and eighties Hollywood movies, and it wasn't, uh, it wasn't complimentary if you were uh, of European origin living in the South. And you, you become an adult, you grow up, and you go, oh, that was all a lie. That's like a complete lie. It's like, yeah, that's you know, a time to kill with Grisham type of type of uh, reimagining of stories. Um, yeah, that that's the Hollywood lie, but it, it comes with with these systems of government too. It's like everything they talk, if everything you know about a, an area of of, style, of knowledge is coming from Hollywood, it's like you don't know anything. You, you gotta you gotta read books, and even when you're reading books, you gotta look at the author and say, okay, what are their biases? Like you, you gotta put that out. So even this actor, she's just it's just a stimulus response system where there's no cognition going on. It's the stimulus. And then a knee-jerk answer, the approved Hollywood answer, because she, you know, she wants to work in Hollywood, with that with that word where she she, you know, it's uh, oh the Empire, well, like are they good or bad? It's like well, come to the conclusion, you have to carefully study the the the, the history of this fictional universe and reach your own conclusion. But they bypass that because Hollywood is has propagandized to people for seventy years to to trigger the stimulus response of if fascist, then negative. Like that's you have there's nowhere they have proven that because if you, you it's like it's just a system like communism is just a system it's you have to stop and like oh i gotta start thinking about these cut off that knee-jerk response and that terrifies hollywood so the thing is you look at this show and you go okay well presumably that means authority in their minds it means authoritarian dictatorship uh, like you know the the kind of the world war ii hollywood definition of of you know those guys marching around a hugo boss sort of thing um but then you go, well, but wait a minute, that doesn't match. And I'm not speaking about anything uh, of that. I'm talking about like for the character motivations for a Hollywood movie, it doesn't make sense because in the original Disney Star Wars, it might have made sense because they're all, I think, British actors. They all look, you know, the same physically. They all look like they came from the same area of the world. Um, but with the modern Disney Star Wars, because of wokeism, where you've got people from all over the world who are suddenly playing the roles of these fashionable ones. And you go, well, that's not what the word means. It's just the that's like a uh, i don't know what you call those um those like soldier of fortune type of thing you've got you're saying you've got you know africans indians asians from different, different parts of asia and um uh, europeans uh, different parts of europe uh, all these different people and none of that you have aliens and you have women in positions of power so you're saying the empire the empire equivalent is um is this bundle of of sticks tightly bound together for a common purpose like that's not the definition of the word. They're not. They're not a fascist group. That word has a meaning. It's not a pejorative. It's not necessarily a compliment. It has a meaning. It you're using it incorrectly because you have the stimulus response to think, oh, it's bad. It's authoritarian. Authoritarian. It's the empire. It's like they don't want you to look at the empire and come to the conclusion, oh, they're the good guys. And this word that you keep repeatedly using as a pejorative, even people on the right use it, though not on Gab, because we just we come in there and we just destroy them. We go, you know, words have meaning. You don't want to just parrot a word. Look up the definition. Look up like the book. Read a book, a non-fictional historical account for for these different words. And you go, oh, well, I've read I, myself personally. I've read quite a bit about this this area. It's it's interesting, and it says it leads you in one direction of of study where Hollywood leads you in a different direction. So you have two things that are not in accord with each other. Guess which one's likely to be more accurate? It's not the Hollywood fictional universe. It's going to be the books, the history books that talk about that period of time. And they tell a different story than Hollywood tells you about what these things meant. It's like, oh, one guy's good guys, one guy's bad guys. 
No, in history, it's going to be way more complicated than that. And in the movie universe, it's more complicated than that. But they don't want you reaching that conclusion where she's she's talking about like she's so manipulated and she's voluntarily giving this interview where she's she's showing how stupid she is where she's saying like this she's saying yes i'm i'm a brainwashed person i hear stimulus and response uh where she's talking about like yeah we've got this diverse group of fascists and a woman w women and and pocs and aliens and robots in a man's world but it's they're they're the bad guys and you should feel slightly uncomfortable why would we feel we should reach our own conclusion ourselves, whatever that conclusion may be. And, and now I look at them and go, oh, God, the Empire is the good guys. Team Empire all the way. Or Team Old George Lucas Empire when they were like, were they at least well-dressed and they're all one group of people. It's like, yes, you could, you might be able to say those people were fascists because they were all of one tribe of people. But you've got women and, and POCs and aliens and robots. How are they the fascists? That's just a... A soldier of fortune commercial zone it's like google is fighting amazon or something it's, it's more like a dune universe if i remember Dune correctly something like that where traders guilds are going after each other that's not what the word words have meaning you have to find a new word and they go oh we wanted i mean in their minds they wanted to make them this group of people i don't think this is ever getting monetized i lose that lose that 37 cents um the only way to make it consistent with the story universe of them being one group all tightly bound for common purpose is they all have to be one people they all have to be englishmen or at the very least europeans or people who physically look the part of european people every once in a while you can have a soldier of fortune you know coming from around the world but mostly it's like if they're british they all have to be british you know genetically racially british people and that's the only, that fits the story universe you destroy the foundation of the story when you've got a woman in a man's world but she's allowed to be there you effing idiots and you've oh there's a there's a, a, a african woman okay so you realize that's like you're just undercutting your story structure has been destroyed if you're making this diverse group of people fight this other diverse group of people but one guy's the good guys one guy's the bad guys they're not fighting for anything they're not fighting for a way of life it's just a it's just the it's just a corporate zone fighting another corporate zone oh no 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 one side's one side's the fashionable ones because they're, they're dressed like hugo boss and the other side's this ragtag but they're both neither one of them is fighting for anything that the audience can identify with because humans are tribal and it's you know it's politically incorrect as you can say as hollywood tries to make though i think people holy shit the pendulum is swinging back brothers oh my god gavin telegram wow even on twitter even on twitter you see this pendulum start to swing back and Hollywood is getting further and further away from, like, how people are feeling. Like, people are awakening to this realization. So when I say Hollywood is over, Disney is over. Uh, Star Wars is over for sure. Yeah, Star Wars is over. You can't connect with it on a subconscious level when your entire argument is visually destroyed. When you look at it with the rings of power, the, 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 the evil blonde guy talking to a group of blonde people, but mostly overrepresented by, of course, uh, European people. But it was a, that, that island was a mix of different people. And they go, oh, we're fighting for our way of life. We've got to keep out the dirty elves. Yeah, but you're already a mixed group of people. You have an Indian. Was she Indian or African? I don't remember. She was a pretty lady, but she's not of your tribe. So, like, what group, what what bloodlines are you fighting for? It's not your tribe. People don't sacrifice for other people, not of their tribe, their immediate family, then their greater family. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you can't make some things woke. It doesn't make sense. Oh, we're this mixed group of, of hobbits, but we're all one tribe, and we lived together for thousands of years, but we all look visually distinct. Not You just can't make everything woke. It doesn't. So you live together, you love each other, but not enough to actually um, mate with each other. Yeah, that's that's usually what people happen when people live together long enough. They actually, you know, they find themselves uh, they find themselves uh, getting friendly with each other after a few beers, and they make a new a new tribe of people that are you know something else. But you know, after a few generations, they're all going to look the same. It's like, oh, we can't have that. We just have a, you know, we would all look like vaguely I don't know Latin American people, Brazilian people, or something like that. You know, Portuguese and an African mixture or something like that. It's like. Yeah, yeah, we, we can't have that because that's too homogenous. It's like, yeah, but that's logically consistent. You, it, it's the same thing with Star Wars. Like, logic, the logical structure doesn't make sense. And so on a surface level, the sets, the costumes, everything looks cool. The CGI looks cool, but it doesn't resonate with you. 
because these different tribes of people are not going to fight for each other and sacrifice for each other. As you see with America and what's happening to Europe now, it's like this, it's, you're turning, you turn what, what, what was a nation into a commercial zone and what's going to follow, follow after that is, is failure pretty soon um, because there's nothing holding it together. But there's diversity and strength. No, actually, like 10 million years of human evolution and countless psychological and anthropological studies have proven the opposite. They're lying to you. Hollywood's been lying to you the whole time. Everything's, everything coming out of Hollywood is a lie. These are the people who, who fly to an island to abuse kids, and it's the same people who cheer uh, people, uh, you know, Weinstein's, Polanski's, Woody Allen's, and the, the, the Siegler guy with the, who's got the foot fetish, I forget his name. Who isn't better off dead? They're the worst people on earth, and they're the ones who are teaching you everything I know about the South, everything I know about the Germans. I learned from Hollywood. It's like, okay, they lied to you. They've been lying for a long time. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys all next episode.